So logically, obviously, I don't want to overspend. I want to reduce costs of living. I want to cut things. That's the logical part. But spiritually, emotionally, let's let's amp up our giving mindset, even in the midst of a crisis. And you'll be surprised that attitude, how far it'll take you into real abundance and, and wealth. And this way, you never stop. So when you do get to the top, you don't become greedy. You just continue to become a, 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 a more abundant giver because you learn how to give when you had so little. If you learn how to give with little when you're at the highs of your life, you're gonna be able to give even more and it is consistent, consistent protection from our Father. I would assume is, is how I've been operating. It's just been what's worked for me so far. Recap, emotional, personal, spiritual stuff. Think about these things, the logical stuff. If I lose my job, if I end up in a negative cash flow situation, as zero cash flow. Hopefully I had three to six months worth of expenses. If I do not have that, we need to work on building that as quickly as humanly possible. Second, get your debt tool, get access to capital. HELOC, PLOC, credit cards, right? Just to have, not trying to use them right away, just to have. If I enter crisis, I lose my job, negative cash flow, zero cash flow, under $200 or less, I go from eliminating debt, because most of us in here in, in the room are in the process of eliminating debt or funding your cash value life insurance policies or funding your business. And let's say I, I lose a significant portion of the top line. Obviously, we want to cut back conservation mode, reduce cost of living as much as we can. We use the three to six months. We stop paying off debt early. No sense in sending money over there if there's not going to be more coming in, right? want to preserve it. And then I go from velocity banking to pay off debt to velocity banking to strategically go into more debt, but slower, which would buy more time than the three to six month thing. Maybe I need an extra three, an extra six, whatever it is to, to recover, right? It's a more effective, efficient way to borrow, in my opinion, right? It's just my opinion. It's what worked for me. I didn't take loans out. I, when I was in a negative cash flow position, I was leveraging my credit cards on 0% effectively and efficiently. I was running bills through the credit card and then I was pulling from the line of credit to pay the credit card off in full. And then whatever income did come in while I was recovering from the crisis, I dumped it, parked it right into the line of credit to reduce the interest and the payment itself. That's it. Then Finance Geek Ministry from now all the way into Q1 of next year, if you fall under this, you just reach out to me directly. You have to be in Finance Geek Ministry. It's totally free. You sign up. You're part of that. Boom. You do the work that I talk about, you're going to get access to me one-to-one. -one, and then I'm going to have dedicated live group sessions where we just, you know, you actually have to participate. You come off the mic and you say, this is my situation. Here are my four major numbers. This is what I'm currently working with. Here's what's going on. And then I'm going to ask questions. And then it's going to be in a, a group setting. We're all going to come up with ideas. And then who knows? Minor might say, hey, I know someone in your local area that could probably help you with that. Or Bishop says, yeah, oh, uh, I know a pastor in your area that's currently doing this right now. Like, let me tell you, I'm gonna, I would be the most creative homeless person right now. If you put me in a situation where I gotta become homeless, I would be so creative, it's not even funny. I would not be the guy standing on the street with a sign. That's just a waste of freaking time. I would not do that. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to a church. I'm finding the nearest church that I can walk to, talking with the pastor, let him know my situation. Hey, what work do you got going on? Who's the most wealthiest person in your church that I could communicate with right now? I have an idea. I have a proposition. Likely that successful person is somewhere in the world of sales and marketing. I said, listen, all I need is a mic. All I need is a camera. Tell me your product. What's your service? Put me to work. I'll clean your floors. I'll clean your house, whatever it is. I just need some place to stay. I'm getting creative. Trust me with it. I'm, you put me in a, a homeless situation. You get rid of all my tools, all my assets, all my contacts. I am not going to be standing on the street with a sign asking for help. That's a complete, complete waste of time. I'm going to spend majority of my day communicating with a church. Once they can put me in contact with whomever, then I'm probably going to go to the library, right? So I can get on the internet, access the internet, and try to uh, go on the different social medias to find someone in my local area, local content creator, entrepreneur, doing something that I can serve them and sell something, do some work. Boom. Then in regards to eating, right? Cause I'm, I'm going to have to eat. I got no money. I'm going to very strategically approach different restaurants that have like free stuff that they do, right? Whether it's free, getting free water, free, free this, free that, 
whatever it may be. There's always like restaurants doing free things, right? And I'm just gonna ask, hey, I'm homeless right now. I'm just looking for a meal. Can you help? No, gotcha, next. Can you help? No, gotcha, next. Can you help? No, gotcha, next. Can you help? Boom. It's a, it's a, it's the law of averages. The more you ask, right? It's like you get 10 no's, one yes, okay. One out of 10, one out of 15, one out of 20. Works the same way when you're in that negative situation that you're in right now. You just gotta talk to more people. Get away from the negative Nancys, the negative Drews, the negative Toms, and get around a positive minor. Get around a positive Brenda. Get around a positive Chris, Cornelius, positive Eric, George, right? Apollo. Get around positive people, man. They're on social media, right? They're in your area, right? They're looking for winners. You can be the next one.